Hey guys, I wanted to touch base and give you an update on the markets that I cover uh, with my timing signals and what I see going on in the gold markets. So let's go ahead and start with the NASDAQ. Uh, we're coming off the heels of a just absolutely horrendous, gigantic market head fake where my timing signal got short. And you can see this was just, uh, it, it switched back to long and the market has been so overbought, it's never really given a long entry. Uh, it's not as bad on the Dow. Uh, let me go there real quick. It, uh, here, here was the short signal, and here was the uh, the when my market timing flipped back to bullish. But th this has just been, from a technical perspective, a bit of a head scratcher in terms of what's going on in the markets. And you know, I know it's not it's not good to really question what's going on, but at the same time, it just feels it feels very forced. Uh, the uh, the buying, but. You know, it is what it is, and we have to deal with that. So, you know, we got to focus on strong stocks. Uh, going forward, I'd like to see a little bit of a pullback. I mean, uh, as as does everyone, and uh, we're probably not going to get it, at least not in the way that I think everyone would 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 want it. it meaning a nice controlled pullback. So, we're either probably going to continue to melt up. Uh, and, and the longer that we melt up like this, the more violent that move, I think, is going to be. Or we're probably going to get one or two days of really intense selling, uh, potentially maybe come back here to this gap support. And at that point, everyone's going to be saying that the rally is probably over and now this is the top. And then that'll probably just get bought like there's no tomorrow. Uh, but it's it's not going to be easy to buy that either. You know, everyone wants a nice controlled bounce, but I'm sorry, a nice controlled pullback so they can kind of pick and choose which stocks they want to buy. But it's going to be one of those things where all the stocks you're following are going to hit their buy points right away. And you're going to have to plug your nose and, and, and dive in if, if you want to buy the dip. Uh, that's kind of what I see happening. The, the, right now you can see the... Uh, uh, four day EMA is above the upper counter channel and that can be a, a sign that the markets are overheating. Uh, however, as long as the positive DI is above the ADX, these markets will continue to go sideways to up. Uh, the, the, I, in my experience, the, the markets cannot pull back until that happens. Uh, and I already showed you the Dow. So one thing that might happen is we might just continue going up until I believe it's the 24th when the next full moon is. Uh, you can see that there's just, you know, it's just this trend where most every uh, full moon is is continue, is higher for, than the previous one, except for this one. Uh, and, and sometimes they signal trend changes. Uh, this last new moon did not single, signal a trend change. It was a, uh, a trend continuation. And here, here you can see that it was. Uh, this was a trend continuation. Uh, so there might, there might not be a whole lot in terms of a catalyst I think on the 19th there's something with the debt ceiling so uh, you know maybe what we're seeing here is uh, buy the rumor and when the news actually hits then uh, that could be the catalyst so we'll have to keep our eyes open for that uh, the TSX is it, it's actually still a sell signal it's never it has not flipped and judging by what's going on in gold uh, it's no surprise gold is 1394 right now in the futures market and we've broken down uh, basically we've gone up and, and now it looks like we're going to retest these lows uh, I had a couple levels that I was watching but I don't know where they were all right now I think it was right on 1367 uh, I think was the level and then the other one was I can't remember but Basically, we're in the retest mode, and if we can find some support down here, somewhere north of 1350, this is going to be a good sign, and potentially gold could find some sort of bottom and, and you know maybe start to make some series of higher highs and higher lows. But until that happens, you know, don't be a hero in this market. This is a market that can just, you know, I don't, I don't even know where support is going to be if it breaks down and closes on a daily level below that. So the last chart I want, I don't really have time to talk about it, but there is some divergence here. Study this chart. It's pretty important.